everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Diane, libido expert. In this particular video, we're talking about stress and your libido, and we're gonna be talking about that actually all month long because it's so important. And one key thing that is essential to understand is how different stress impacts the libido for women versus men. So for a long time, there has been a four phase model as far as libido, arousal, and orgasm are concerned. So this four phase model has been essentially excitement, like this plateau phase right before orgasm, and then this like relief kind of feeling, right? So there's this four phase model. Now that is very, very true for most men. But women have a very, very different pattern, and this is gonna play so important into stress, into your libido, and more. So Rosemary Bassan put out a intimacy model of the female sexual response. And it's very, very, very different than this four-face model. In fact, this is an example of why I think so many humans are confused about female sexuality because we've been for a long time studying men and this, just assuming that women are a different, slightly different variation of the man. And that is not true. So essentially with the with Rosemary Bassan's model, we're looking at all of these different interplays that actually play into sexuality and arousal. And it's not just this, this kind of linear regression, it's more like this cycle where we see emotional arousal, or we see sexual arousal can lead to this emotional intimacy, which can lead to feeling like, wow, I'm stimulated sexually, or I have that desire, now I have that arousal, now I'm sexually and emotionally satisfied, now I want more sex. So it's like, it's almost this like continual interplay between emotions, between if there's sexual stimuli, between physical how you feel, between how safe you feel, and more. Another thing that's really important in all this is the way the amygdala works. So the amygdala is the fear center of the brain. And what happens very frequently for women is something makes the amygdala aroused. So we have more fear, we're feeling unsafe. And maybe it was something our boss said, maybe it was something our partner said, maybe it was something a kid said, maybe that was that person at the grocery store. Maybe we're just at a weird part of our cycle and depending upon where we're at our cycle, like right before that um, period of menstruation, sometimes the hormonal changes right then can actually stimulate the amygdala and we can feel a lot more insecure, we can feel a lot more triggered in various scenarios just because our brain chemistry is different, right? It's totally normal from a how women are supposed to work process. And so all of these different things that fire off the amygdala can actually wind up playing into the sexual response cycle. And so when it really comes to stress, it can be related to how we're feeling at any point in the month, if we're still ovulating and menstruating. It can be how we're feeling in any day due to emotional standpoint. If we had any sort of trigger from our partner in a casual conversation, but that triggered our amygdala to feel unsafe, that can play into sex. So we're gonna be unpacking all of this kind of stuff over the next month, really looking at the amygdala, looking at stress, looking at emotional intimacy, and looking at how all of these things are really connected. Now, here's a take home point from this video. One of the reasons I'm so fired up and passionate about talking about libido is because one of the most common things I've seen after working with mostly women, but in my practice I've worked with few men, but mostly women for almost a decade and a half, one thing I see so commonly is the state of overwhelm, right? And the state of overwhelm often comes from the way estrogen and progesterone work in our brain. We're taking in a lot of different information. Our brain lights up in all these different ways. That's why women are such great multitaskers oftentimes. But this sense of overwhelm that oftentimes is preventing us from having the most joy and the most pleasure and enjoying our kids the most, enjoying our partner the most, enjoying our friends the most, our work. All of this is related to our ability to get out of that overwhelm and enjoy the moment. If we can enjoy the moment, then you know life is a, basically a series of moments, right? 
one of the things that helps us enjoy the moment the most, that kicks stress response down so much, is oxytocin. That love hormone, that cuddle, cuddle hormone, the sex hormone, the orgasm hormone, all of that. And so that oxytocin being released is so good at really helping to get out of that overwhelm, helping to stay present, helping to enjoy life. So yeah, it's about libido, but it's also about relationships and it's also about how deeply are you having pleasure in as many moments of your life as possible. That's why this stuff is so exciting. So I hope you'll subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna be doing so much this month on stress, on libido, how to work with these things, how to think about these things. You don't wanna miss any of it, so hit that subscribe button. Again, I'm Dr. Diane, your libido expert. I'll see you in the next video.